Coming to you today from the Lubbock Civic Center where the Texas Rangers Winter Caravan has made a stop here in the Hub City. Mitch Moreland, Matt Harrison, Eric Nadell, and Mike and Maddox all taking time out of their busy schedule to talk to some fans of West Texas and also give us some insight for what we can expect out of the Rangers of 2013. I'm really excited. You know, I think this is going to be one of the more interesting spring trainings. It's been a while since the Rangers had any really important jobs up for grabs in spring training. And this year we go in there not knowing who the center fielder is going to be, uh, not knowing who the eighth inning guy is going to be, not knowing who the seventh inning guy is going to be, and not knowing who the fifth starter is going to be. So uh, I think to see that play out, and also see how A.J. Przinski and Lance Berkman, you know, look going into spring training, uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. That's a pretty good three to start with, you know, and then I think Alexi Agondo made the all-star team two years ago as a starter, so we're looking forward to getting him back in the swing of things. And, and then uh, the fifth spot, you know, we got to, we got to hold, well, we have an opportunity there for somebody to jump up and grab hold of it. And that's what we want, is we want somebody to go out there and earn it. We don't want to give it to someone by default because we need a fifth starter. But um, last year that was kind of a problem for us, was that this slot we didn't have a whole lot of production out of it. So we need to improve there, and um, the only way we're going to improve there is when these young guys have step up and grab it. Man, I don't think we're going to lose our chemistry. Uh, you know, it's definitely going to be different without having Michael Young there and his leadership uh, because he was the guy that you know, everybody went to when we had an issue or a question. Uh, you know, he's the guy that's been there the longest, and, you know, he, he was our leader in the clubhouse. So. Uh, that's going to be tough to fill those shoes, but uh, you know I don't. You know, hoping that somebody don't try to. You know, it's hard to replace a guy like that, and you know I think it'll be something that just happens. And uh, you know, losing you know Hamilton, you know it's hard to lose a bat like that. And what you know what he did on, uh, on the field for us. I mean, you can't replace that with one person. I don't think. You know, he's one of the best players in the game. Uh, but we try to pick up the pieces where we can, and uh, each person do the best they can that day, and uh, you know hopefully we come out on top. Just because. We ended like we did, didn't mean we had a bad season. You know, we, we still had a great season, but I think everybody was just disappointed because of what we were used to, you know, going to the World Series two years in a row. And, uh, you know, we just got to get back to that mindset where, you know, we're going to go out and, and, and play our style of baseball and, and not let any, anything else get in the way. And, uh, you know, we're, we're very capable of doing that. We got a great team. And, and uh, you know, it'll, I, think, I think we'll get back to that this year and, and play our style, our style of baseball. Spring training is just right around the corner for the Texas Rangers, and then on March 31st, they open the regular season against new American League Western Division rival, the Houston Astros in Houston. Reporting for MCTV from the Lubbock Civic Center, I'm Joshua Cook.